Modular terminal blocks can seem to be quite complex in their design within AutoCAD Electrical, especially where electronic items are involved. But if you have a look closely at the device, the lower level of the terminal is effectively a continuous connection. So in other words, it's a terminal with terminal number. The upper level has a fuse connection. So in other words, it becomes a terminal with Y number change. And even looking at the circuit diagram, whilst we could draw the LED, etc. within the symbol, there's no need to go down to that level of detail because it's inbuilt into the device. Um, however, we should really represent that it is a fuse terminal rather than just being the IEC norm of a circle. Going back to AutoCAD Electrical, I've obviously within the parts database created a new part for this device and I've simply copied information from the PDF directly into the cell within the uh, new part. This is the interesting bit though, however, if I just move my cursor along to the side, I've defined it as two levels. The level descriptions are top and bottom. Um, the pins on the left for the upper and lower are pins one and three, and the pins on the right for upper and lower are two and four. And I'm allowing two connections into uh, each point. So we'll just accept the changes on that and we'll um, just minimize this a little bit down on the side. Now we've got our graphics drawn, we'll use Symbol Builder to create the symbols. First object that we're going to create is the fuse terminal element of the, of the part. This is a vertical terminal, but it's a terminal with wire number change because obviously it's a disconnect terminal with the fuse being in. Add the connection point. We can also copy this attribute and we'll just put snap on. If we want a terminal value, term 01. We could also put a rating attribute in. Again, I could copy. That would be useful if um, you're allowed up to 12 rating attributes per symbol, but that would be useful for the fuse rating. Um, you can also put the level descriptors in. Um, so in this instance, I'm just going to copy this particular attribute. And we'll just change the properties. Smaller text, make it left justified. And I'm going to change this value to level 01 pin L. And just reposition. And again, I can copy that attribute. And level 1 pin R because this is the upper level of the terminal. That symbol is now completed. So we can close the block editor. Just check in, terminal with Y number change. The 
the one error is because we've missed off cat desk which is irrelevant we'll insert the symbol give it a terminal strip reference I'll just define the top level as being 1t it's dangerous to put 1a because obviously a could be misunderstood as being a, uh, a fuse rating and we're going to go to catalog lookup pick the part and you'll see the multi levels appear and also pins 1 and 2 appear on the symbol going back to the symbol builder it's a vertical terminal this time it's a terminal with terminal number because it's a continuous Add connections. reposition this particular attribute and now we can also add the level descriptors this time this is level 2 pin L and level 2 pin R close the symbol Just reposition just slightly down so that you can see what's going on. Make it 1B, but if you click on modify, you can associate it with that particular deck of terminal. Associate. And we can say OK. And you can see the level descriptors appear. If I duplicate these symbols, and we'll just change the terminal numbers, even though there's four blocks within the drawing, this is only two terminals. If you've defined a wire type within create edit wire types as jumper, it means you can draw a wire type of jumper connecting between these connection points within the schematic and that will not be displayed. The jumper information will not be displayed in a wire from to report. If we go to the terminal editor, the terminal editor will only show two terminals. And as you can see with the level descriptors and the term level numbers as well as the level values.